Hey, this is Tom with databank.me. I'm really excited today to show you the very first transaction on the marketplace in the live environment. We're really, this is a really pivotal time for the company because now we enter that phase of usability where you literally can walk around the block and you can earn tokens and buy something with them. And that's huge when you think about it because there's not many companies in the crypto space where you have that usability aspect and we've made it as easy as PayPal. You're gonna see how easy it is, it's really cool. What I wanna do is I wanna do an overview of my marketplace for you. If you're Prime Plus or above, you have the ability to open up a store. So I'm gonna show you a sample store in the company. We'll have a sample store that you can go to and you can mess around, but it'll kind of be the standard that we're gonna be looking for as far as the quality of stores and things like that. So uh, let's go into my suite was where you'll find it. And if you're prime plus or above, you will see provider. And you can see I put in Tom's vitamins. I put in a hundred word description, uh, put in my addresses, my phone numbers, all my social media links. Uh, I've got a, you know, a legal statement. So if you have a special legal statement that's on your website or a terms of service agreement or a refund policy, make sure you put that in there because it kind of legitimizes your store that you have some policies around the products that people buy from you. Once you're done loading up your store, make sure you load a good store logo, okay? If you don't have a logo, go to Fiverr and have somebody create one for you. There's tons of clip art you know, on the internet. Find something that's relevant to you and don't steal somebody else's logo. There's all kinds of stuff on the internet. And then of course you've got your active and deactivate. So if you want your store offline while you're making improvements to it, you can deactivate it and then bring it back up. Also, we have the promo code generator. So if you're offering discounts, you know, you can come in here and edit this. I'll show you how that works real quick. You can set your discounts and your code word. Okay, so you type in your code word and what discount you're gonna give and that helps you track your advertising campaigns. And then of course at the bottom, this is where you'll add products. Again, each one is pin protected. You can go in and type in the uh, title of the product, the description, the price, the tax, is it home delivery, no delivery, free delivery? Make sure you mark that down. And then if you're using a promo code, list the promo code for the product that you're using. Then of course you can add videos and photos up to five per product. That's how you add the store when you're done. You hit save and it'll save the product for you and it'll add it to your store. So if you have products like coaching products or if you have physical products like vitamins or water filters or skin creams, you know, just do a really good job filling out each product. And, you know, if you have like 30 products or whatever, and it's going to take a lot of time, do your top 10 products at least to get your store launched. And then once your store is launched, of course, it'll be listed on my marketplace. So we can come down to my marketplace and you will see some of the stores that have, some people are already starting to list their stores. Here's my Tom's vitamin store. So I can find that by going to the health category because I have health selected and you can see there's Tom's vitamins. So I'm going to click on the store and you can see I've got a nice logo here. We're going to replace out all these dummy banners with some official banners from some of our new corporate sponsors. So I can scroll down here and I can add a product to the cart. So I'm just going to do this G fuel click there. It says you've successfully added to the cart. And then when I'm ready, I can go to checkout and click on cart. And you can see there's the G Fuel that's added. Now notice we made it look like what you are used to when you're checking out you know, with standard e-commerce websites. Now the first thing I wanna do, is see it calculated the price, the shipping, the taxes. So a total of 1024. If I wanna double that and say I want two of them instead of one, I can do that. Maybe I wanna go back and continue shopping. Now you can only shop from the same store. So in version two, we'll have it set up to where you can order products from multiple sources. But for right now, you can only shop from one store at a time. So buy the products there and then go to another store and add them to your shopping cart. So for now, that's the way we have it structured. Now, the first thing I need to do is I need to connect my wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my MetaMask wallet. All right, so I'm gonna select this top wallet right here. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna hit proceed and it tells me I need to have 496,000 tokens in my wallet. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. 
It's going to open up my wallet and I can see the total fee, including the 3% fee, which is the transaction fee for the company in BNB. Then I'm gonna click confirm. It says my purchase is successful and it's gonna redirect me back to the announcements page. Now if I want to, I can go into profile and I can go to my orders and I can see the product that I just purchased here. Now let's go take a look at the smart contract because all that was done by smart contract. So the seller got paid directly the DBME. It did not come to the company. So I can see here's the product right here that I just purchased. Let's go look at that on the blockchain explorer. I should have let off some fireworks or something. That was really cool. That was our first live transaction. And so come down here. I did a bunch of test ones, but that was the first live one. So that's pretty cool. Let's say that's hopefully the first of tens of millions of transactions, maybe hundreds of millions of transactions that are done on my marketplace. So you can see that this wallet paid in some money, uh, some DBME to this wallet, and you can see it paid the 3% fee to the corporate wallet. And then you can see that a 496,000 tokens, I use the same wallet address on both, both, the, both profiles, so that's why it's the same. Anyway, that's really cool. I just bought some G Fuel using DBME, and let's go take a look at the emails real quick. So I'm gonna log into my email account. Okay, here it is, uh, Laura McMurrin, my wife. Awesome, she bought some product for me, bought some G Fuel, Quantity One, and then she didn't have her shipping address filled out, so you'd have to reach out to her and get that. We are gonna require that on a verification process, so before you can purchase anything, or mint any tokens, we are gonna require that you update your address. As you know, we've got validation right now means set your PIN, verification means you set your address and you've answered the security question. So we're gonna have a validation and a verification. So you can see that we sent 496,000 DBME to Laura. Now let's go look at Laura's account and see the receipt that she received. Okay, here's the invoice right here. We can see that she bought something from Tom's Vitamins. She's got an invoice number. That invoice number is gonna be something Brittany can address if there's any issues with the order. And you can see she paid 496,000 DBME. You know, hopefully Tom's Vitamins will reach out to her and say the product has been shipped once he has Laura's shipping address. We've got a couple things to tighten up on it, but other than that, the transaction works absolutely beautiful. It's flawless. We've tested it about 30 times and it really works nice. And I'm really excited about the flow of it. It's obviously gonna be even better when we launch my wallet because you won't have to do any of that bouncing back and forth. You'll just click pay, you'll put in your pin and your wallet will pay it. So I'm, I'm real excited about that process as well. So that is the very first transaction for my marketplace. I am elated. We've been working on this for a long time and it's so good to see it come to fruition. And I just wanna thank you for your patience. Please set up your stores, put some high quality pictures up, take your time. Like I said, if you have a lot of products, take your time and just put five of them on there for right now so members can start buying products from each other and making DBME usable. As always, live healthy and be wealthy.